Great to be with Felicia Boyd, the Program and Outreach Director from the Timaquan Parks Foundation. And good to have you back, first of all, Felicia. I love to hear about what your organization does. And now that we're heading into the out and about season, we're getting outside more with summer upon us. Tell us about what's going on with you. Well, we're excited to be here. We're excited to talk about our programming that um, and our support of the national, state, and city park partners. We have so, so many parks. I mean, we've got more park acreage than most cities, right? We're just blessed. We do. And the parks that we support are mostly what we call our wilderness parks. So um, it's a walk in the woods. So we use those parks to help do programming for health and get everybody out into the parks. And it's proven okay. you're you're much healthier getting out and about. Uh, even and I'm a big runner. I said just getting that fresh air makes a huge difference. So, uh, luckily, uh, we have got the Timaquan Parks Foundation that's making it look lovely around town. But it doesn't just happen like magic, like the Keebler Elves. It's, it, it takes some work. And tell us about maybe some volunteer opportunities this summer. That's that's right. So we um, use our volunteers of all ages to help us with um, trail maintenance, invasive plant removals, uh, cleanups. And so um, we have a self-guided student program that students can go to our website and find out how to get their community service hours. But then it's also this summer, we have partnered with our Jack's Parks partner to do some um, cleanups that, uh, some organized cleanups at five of our Jack's Parks that people can come out and help us with. Yeah, and you have a really cool, you, you call, you have something called the Ring of Parks, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. that's, that helps the sprawl, the urban sprawl that's going on. It just kind of helps folks be able to get away and relax. Boy, do we need that after the past year. So can you tell us more about that? So, yeah, so again, we try to get people to be aware of these parks. Um, we want to preserve these parks. And so um, if people have access or opportunities to go to those parks, then they will uh, value those parks and be more comfortable. So the summer program is to kind of encourage different people to get out. Um, we target, sometimes we target those high schoolers because they may or may not uh, wanna leave their screen time, but they need their service hours. So they can come out uh, where we have five different programs at five different parks throughout the city, some on the west side, some on the north side, um, some central to come out and at the same time help stiff up our parks. Yeah, a lot of, uh, I know a lot of college seniors that are trying to spruce up their resumes. Hey, kids, volunteer opportunities, that's where it is. You, the colleges will see that on there and it's educational as well. Uh, as a gardener, I know there's some invasive native plant species you can help remove and uh, things like that. Tell us more about that. Education. Yeah, we like to remove the invasives and actually plant the natives. <laughs> oh, I like that. So yeah. Invasive and then replant. And that's the way to go, right? So we do have a, uh, one of our projects will be at Castaway Island Preserve. There's a pollinator garden. And so we'll need help with weeding that and doing some planting. Um, we have a, a park along the rail trail. We're doing some actual trail kind of creation there. So... Um, and then our first one is actually next week at Bulls Bay Preserve. And um, last time we went there, we pulled out 65 tires. Ooh, so we're wow. going back out to see, you know, go ahead and do another trash cleanup or litter cleanup and do some lopping and chopping and, and, Very good. and, and, and stiffing up the trails. There's a lot to do. There's a lot to do out there. And it, it's a lot of fun also when you know you're just making this place even more beautiful, a beautiful place we're proud to call home. Uh, so what ages? We talked about kids for their college resumes. What about uh, my grandma? Can she get out there? Your grandma is welcome to come. And we actually have a TPF trail team that goes out on a regular basis throughout the year. And that tends to be more retirees because it tends to be the middle of the week. And your grandma is welcome to join like us. It. So it's for all ages. We know it's going on all summer. I guess what, what months does this cover? We've got- We'll start next week. And then it's about every two weeks. So June, um, July, August. So and that's the very perfect. beginning of August. So correct. you can really plan ahead. And, and where can folks sign up and get more information? They can come to timquanparks.org uh, slash volunteer. And they can sign up. Or um, these particular programs, they can actually just show up. We'll have, um, you know, we'll have stuff for them. Oh, we'll have some little grabbers. And we'll have the bags, and we'll have the gloves, and <laughs> we'll have some snacks. 
Um, but we'll put, you know, everybody will get to work and uh, bring your friends. He like said, bring your family, come if you can. And if, if you can't make it, we, like I said, we have kind of uh, self-guided type cleanups where students can go and clean up for a couple of hours. They write a reflection of their experience and they get, we'll send them a certificate for two yeah. hours of community service. Love it. That's where it's at. And yeah, it's just gonna make you feel good. It makes you feel accomplished out there and you know, you're doing good for your community. So uh, Felicia Boyd, the program and outreach director, Timaquan Parks Foundation and Hey, have a wonderful summer. And of course, we'll check back in with you. You've got events going on all year long to make our city beautiful. We do. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Of course, for another look at this segment, head to firstcoastliving.net.